Welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. My name is Matteo and I'm going to move on from the advanced topics of uh, modifying the RESTful module to suit your needs and I'm going to go back to more simple and approachable problems like authenticating your requests. So we have said that uh, the RESTful module allows you to authenticate your requests but how do you do that? So there is something called authentication types and authentication optional in your plugin definition. And if we go to the to the RESTful wiki, you'll see how well, when we check the authentication types and authentication optional, uh, it it says that for the authentication types uh, we can pass either true or an array with the name of the authentication providers that are available. So um, what that means is that by setting authentication types equals true, we allow any of the authentication providers to be used to authenticate your request. And that means that uh, there is a way for you to to tell RESTful, hey, this request is being made in the name of the admin user or uh, the user 24 or whatever. So how do we do that? Well, there, there are different methods and I'm going to break this in different short videos. The first method that, that you have is the cookie authentication provider. So uh, let me find all the authentication providers and uh, there is this class called the authentication manager that is going to uh, do the authentication by selecting the authentication provider and then getting the the account so one thing that you should know is that whenever you are and let me make this a little bit bigger Whenever you are authentication, you're, uh, authenticating your request, uh, then you lose the ability to use the page cache. So uh, if you don't need to authenticate your requests, then don't, because then you lose the extra uh, pump in performance that page cache provides you. But uh, if you if you do need it, uh, then uh, there is nothing that you can avoid. So that being said, let's go back here and we're going to set the bands resource to be available for only the cookie provider. So again, <clears throat> One way to know all of the authentication providers is by going to the authentication base class and uh, seeing all of the classes that implement this. Uh, in this case, we have the ba basic authentication, the cookie authentication, and the token authentication. As you can see here, the token, the token authentication provider is provided by an extra sub module. So that could be a good and interesting example on how you can provide authentication providers. That sounds weird. Uh, how you can add authentication providers into RESTful by providing them through your external custom module. So yeah, create a custom module and add a new authentication provider. That, that should be it. But um, again, uh, we're going to care about the cookie authentication and we see here that uh, that's what we need. So we can add this here or we can set this back to true and it's gonna use every authentication provider available. So we're gonna set that and in order to check if our request is being authenticated or not, we're going to set this authentication optional to false. So by doing that, we're going to make sure that any request that is not authenticated is going to return an access violation error. I 
cleared caches and now if I refresh here in an incognito tab I should see how yep I get a forbidden error that means that I have not identified my request now I, I used an incognito tab because since I'm logged in here and browsers send the session cookie by default if I were to refresh this the cookie would be sent anyways so uh, if I just log out here and refresh this since I'm logged out from the from this this browser and the cookie is not there I'm gonna get a 403 but then if I log back in logging in and again I'm gonna just stop my my debugger to speed this up a little bit and uh, I'm logged in as the admin and I can see that I can make the request so yeah that that's all that it takes basically it uses the the cookie but what if you want to send uh, this authentication not from within the same browser because this is not this is not very useful right uh, making the request from here is not going to take us very far we need to make the request from the i know uh, the ios app or the react app that we want to write the angular one page app or whatever so if we don't uh, make them log in into the drupal backend that may not even be available uh, then we don't get the cookie so how do we send cookies along with the, the request is a question that will uh, be depending on every technology every foreign technology but uh, just know that if you need to use the cookie authentication you will need to send the cookie along with your request so check the documentation in your in, in your framework of choice for your front-end app and see how you can send your cookies with the request and uh, make sure that you set the session cookie to the value that you have logged in here so as you can see uh, this is not very useful for front-end apps and that is why we're going to explore other authentication methods um, but yeah take with you the fact that you can require um, a request to be authenticated and this is just to check access maybe you only want to uh, restrict the bands resource to the authenticated users or to the users of a certain role or you want to perform certain access or maybe you can you want to allow everyone to access this but some users will be able to see more information than others and that is going to be uh, done at the field access layer so uh, you authenticate the user and if they have access to see a field then the field is going to pop up in the api and if they don't have access to let's say the bio field they they won't see that field so authentication in your request is uh, mainly useful for access checks and yeah make sure that you authenticate your requests if you need to and in the next video we're going to check some other interesting authentication providers that uh, are more easy, easy to manage than the authentication by cookie.